In Luke 20, Jesus told a parable of a man that planted a vineyard, rented it to some farmers, and went away at harvest time. After a while, he sent a servant to the tenants to get some of the fruit, but the tenants beat him and sent him away. He sent another servant, but that one was beaten and sent away as well. Finally, he sent his own son, whom he loved, and they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. If this was your vineyard, what would you do? Would you show love towards these tenants? Would you give your life for these people? Probably not. Jesus told this parable to a group of people right before his crucifixion. He knew that many of the people he was talking to would reject him and even take part in the crucifixion, and that he would be rejected by many going forward. But he also knew that the only way to save these people was to die on the cross. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, that one would lay down his life for his friends. I find it so amazing that in this verse, Jesus refers to us as friends. It seems like it should say enemies, because that is actually what Christ died for. He died for an uncaring, unloving, self-absorbed world. This really brings meaning to the phrase, with friends like us, who needs enemies? John 15 goes on to say, you are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants, because a servant doesn't know what his master's business is. Instead, I have called you friend, for everything that I learned from my father I have made known to you. Take note, friends of Christ listen and do the things Christ has told them to do, just like any good friend would do. So if we follow Christ, he calls us friend. No matter what we have done in the past or what we may do in the future, he freely accepts us as a friend. Think about that statement. Our relationship with Christ is not master-servant, but friend. That is completely mind-blowing. Think about how many people would consider it the greatest joy in the world to be friends with some rock star, movie star, or major sports figure. But all the while, Christ is calling us to be friends with the creator of the universe. And most people don't even care. Take time to listen and talk with your greatest friend ever. This friend will never leave you nor forsake you. He will always be there waiting for you to drop by and just say hello. Treat him like the friend he is. Have a great day, guys. Hope to see you soon.